Sir Maximilian, senior advisor. but the creator of heaven and earth. <gasps> there is no God in this world other than the creator of heaven and earth. Oh, what, what, what is he saying? Yeah. What is he saying? Did he just... No. Is he, is he saying? Oh. The God of Abraham. What is he saying? The God of Noah. What is he saying? The God of Moses, the God of David and Solomon, the God of Christ, and the God of the last prophet, the praised one, <coughs> whose arrival the world is awaiting, the God who has sent all prophets to guide the people, the God who has pledged to punish all tyrants in hell, and indeed what a harsh punishment it will be for idol worshippers. He is not alone. We second Maximilian's words. And we also share his beliefs. Is there anyone else here who would like to join them? Yes, there are more of us. There are still people who will join them. We also endorse what our brothers have stated. The Emperor is a human being like all of us. Nothing more. You claim to have been bestowed with the power to rule over people. Are you capable of eliminating your need for food and sleep? Or averting your death? Enough! Enough! Arrest them! Kill them! Burn them to death! Calm down, No, lady. no! Please only arrest down. them! They calm must down. not die so easily. I want them alive. Death is not a severe enough punishment. I have other plans in mind. Yes, to the torture chambers of the palace. Take them away. We have prepared ourselves for death. Do they must be killed? They must be killed. My lady! My lady! Lady Helen! Where are you, my lady? Where are you? My lady! Lady Helen, where are you? What has happened? What we were dreading has finally happened. They have arrested Maximilian. How? I don't know. I don't know. I only know. I know that they have detained them. They have arrested Sudinanus, Martinus, and Dinasius as well. Prepare the carriage. Yes, my lady. Urkmit! Mother! Stay here, Urkmit. Stay here. 
Mother. Stay with parents, stay. Mother! Still cannot believe this. I never spoke of it before. Like everyone else, they too praised you and bowed down before Jupiter and offered sacrifices. You are alive right now, only because you saved my life once before. I will have them all crucified and stoned to death tomorrow. And if sacrificing my life in the name of the Emperor will grant you peace, I will not hesitate to do so. The sacrifice of 1,000 lives like yours will never make up for the scandal that has taken place here tonight. I have seen their hesitation many times when bowing down to the idols. We should have realized what was going on and punished them accordingly long ago. What a shame. What a shame that they were of high rank, and no one dared suspect them. You say they are high-ranking noblemen of Rome? Yes. So we cannot kill them without causing uproar. There will be turmoil both in Rome and here. It is best to maintain calm in the city while the Emperor is here. Sir Timorus, calm has already been disrupted, and no one can do anything about it. That is absolutely true. To restore calm to the city, it is best these traitors be punished as soon as possible. Hmm. I do not think so. You know the city of Philadelphia better. Do you believe that killing them will cause pandemonium. If you want the truth, this cannot take place without creating chaos. You know Rome very well. You yourself sent them here as advisors, and you know their background very well. They will definitely create turmoil in Rome. They have influence in Philadelphia, and their deeds have caught the people's attention. The best solution is to make them repent. If they denounce their religion, many people will follow suit and will denounce Christianity also. We can get rid of them later without creating a stir. I do not think it's in the Emperor's best interests to delay their punishment. And what if they refuse to repent and express regret? Life is sweet, Your Highness, if we cannot use words to achieve results. Torture is a good alternative. Mm, that is not a bad idea. Let's see what you do. Tomorrow morning, I expect Maximilian and his friends to bow down and offer their praise, in line with what we have discussed this evening. As you wish, Your Highness. you have done. You have disgraced the respect I have worked an entire lifetime to earn. In the Emperor's eyes, I will not stop until I rip you to pieces. 
unless you repent and bow down to the Emperor. It is your choice. Will you repent or not? Speak up. Will you repent? Will you repent or not? Speak up. I will repent. Stop! servant to God, and I repent for having witnessed your cruelty toward the weak and innocent for years, and doing nothing to counter it. I repent in the presence of God. I repent. Control yourself, your highness. The guards know how to torture well, your highness. They must repent tonight! Tonight! Did you hear me? Tonight! and that of his allies. They must be ripped to shreds. Atene, please. You are my father's wife. Please treat me like a mother would. I have no one but Maximilian. He has ruined all my plans. He has robbed me of my dreams. I hope the gods unleash their wrath upon him. I know. I know, but I beg you to forgive him. Your Highness, will you allow me to speak? What has happened now? Do you think Lady Helen can convince her husband to repent and to express regret to the Emperor? Let us suppose she can. Oh. She... She is waiting for you in your room. the Emperor. He has sullied your father's hard-earned reputation, and most importantly, he has denounced the gods. What do you want here? I hope you haven't come to beg forgiveness for your disloyal husband, Maximilian. I know that my efforts are worthless, but this is all I can do. You do not know how embarrassed I was in the presence of the Emperor's imbecile wife, Sharon. You scoundrels, you are hatching plans against me. You are your mother's daughter, and you should have been burned to death as she was. How can I be sure? How can I be sure that you are not a Christian as well? I will accept any punishment you deem fit, but please forgive my husband. <laughs> I have no one but him. <laughs> he must bow down in praise of the Emperor and make a sacrificial offering to God Apollon. And you, Helen, must convince him to do this. Do you hear me? Maximilian must also beg for forgiveness from both your father and I. 
I don't know whether he will agree to do so. I must speak with him. You try your best. Because this is the only way you can save yourselves. I will do anything I can. Julius. Yes, Your Highness. Take her there. Let her speak with him privately. Yes, sir. Right this way. Even if they are killed a thousand times over, they cannot rectify the damage they caused here tonight. Any different from them? I think no such thing, my lady. But I truly hope you will not succeed in convincing them to repent. If you fail, I will achieve two of my greatest goals in life. The first is to see Maximilian tied to the crucifix. And the second is Be for you. Be silent! I'm sure you wouldn't have the courage to speak like this. If my hands were not tied. Get out of here, you dirty low life. Get out! I'm happy to say that I am certain these cowards will beg for forgiveness within minutes. Lady Helen can stay until morning. No one is allowed to leave here but Lady Helen. What are you doing here? I am here to rescue you. We are thinking of a way to save ourselves too. But not from this prison. I told you once before, I have no one but you. How can I sit back and watch you be murdered? I don't think you've forgotten God, Helen. <laughs> All of our efforts are to show that we have no one but God. And you are here claiming that you have no one but me? I came to know God through you. His kindness towards me was undoubtedly because of you. How can I be sure that he will continue to grant me his blessings once you are no longer by my side? You do not need me to get any closer to God than you already are. Tell me the truth. Why did you come here? My father sent me here to convince you to repent. Then try. You might succeed. Tell me, what must I repent for? I don't know. I don't know what I am supposed to convince you to repent for. How can I ask you to forget God and make offerings to false idols instead? How can I ask you to choose a cruel and selfish emperor over a kind and just God? You see? 
we have no other choice but to trust in God and to accept what he deems fit for us. As tonight's news spread outside the palace walls, my lady. I do not know. Perhaps the palace guests have told others. Everyone must know what the monotheists have done and what has happened in the palace tonight. Lady Helen. Please try to spread the news of what has happened tonight. <laughs> My lady, do not let what we have started be left unfinished. The message of your husband and of our group is in your hands. You must continue along our path. We will not remain silent. But please pray God grants us patience and strength. I'm proud of you, Helen. I entrust you and Erkmit to God. <gasps> Lady Helen, tell Anna to be patient. God will support those who are patient. <laughs> tell her not to mourn. And tell her to raise my daughter with faith. you wish to tell your wives? Tell my wife that you saw Yuvanus and he was laughing like a madman. <laughs> Martinus, Sodinanus, and I do not have wives, but tell the people that we are enjoying the best moments of our lives. beautiful thing a servant can do for his creator. Helen, tell my wife that we will meet in the presence of God with our heads held high. Tell her not to worry. That day is not too far away. I pray that God will either save you or take my life when he takes yours. <laughs> Whatever God deems fit, I expect you to trust in God's decisions. Now, go tell Diocletian that we choose our God over our lives. Go, Helen. Go. <laughs> Lady Helen, try to comfort them. Keep them close to you. You will handle this hardship better if you are together. So what happened? As you can see, I was unsuccessful. They must not die. These gallant men must not die. They will not die. It is us who will die. They have chosen life. And they will live until the end of time. What has happened? Like us, you are deprived of sleep. You have robbed me of sleep. How can I sleep? What are you worried about, Phidias? Why do you not save yourselves? What is the matter with you? Actually, we are thinking of saving ourselves, but from this world. 
From this world to where? <laughs> to the heavens, to the presence of God. I swear to God. I am tired of this life. Ah! Have you lost your minds? You are giving up this sweet life for a heaven you are not even certain is real. How so? <laughs> it is real, Phidias. It is real. A thousand truthful prophets do not make false promises. Imagine we live a while longer. At what cost? At the cost of following tyrants and obeying their false gods. If we denounce our god and worship your gods instead, will we no longer die? Has anyone ever been immortal? If you are killed, and you realize afterwards that it was all a lie, what then? If you see the God which you say exists, in fact does not, no God, no heavens, no blessings or rewards, and no judgment day, what then? And what if everything is true? Ah! Be certain that there is no truth. You have seen how passionately they worship their god. Even though they see themselves as mere servants of God, look how fearlessly they denounce the god of the Romans and all other gods. I know your gods, but... But... Do you know mine? Summon Julius. I must force them to repent tonight. Yes, sir. Dear God, give us the strength to continue along your path. Help us so we may sacrifice our lives in your name. Give us the strength to remain patient and steadfast. Amen. 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 
I do not have any interest in your own gods. I do not know your god either. But I believe your god must be good. Because he has followers like you. What are you doing, Phidias? Escape as fast as you can. Have you thought about your own life? We don't want to put your life in danger to save ourselves. Is it necessary for one to always think of one's own life? Yes. You must always cherish your life. Did you think of your own lives in the Emperor's presence? Yes. We decided to sacrifice our lives for God, and we have. Why are you risking your life? I do not know. Is it truly possible? Your God will accept me. Yes, he will accept you. But you must first find faith in him. How can I find faith in him? Repeat after me. I, Phidias. I, Phidias. Hereby testify. Hereby testify that there is no God but the one God who created the heavens and the earth. That there is no God but the one God who created the heavens and the earth. The God of Abraham, the God of Moses, the God of Abraham, the God of Moses, the God of Jesus, and the God of the final prophet, the praised one. The God of Jesus and the God of the final prophet the praised one. And the God who sent the prophets to guide the people of the world. And the God who sent the prophets to guide the people of the world. We welcome you. Leave from the back door of the palace. It's open. Hurry! Quickly! 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 Hey! You! Stop! Stop! Where are you going? Open the door, Phineas! Open no, up! No! You go! Hurry! Phineas! Traitor has helped that Emperor's prisoners escape! Ah! 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 
go. Go inform Julius that the prisoners have fled. The prisoners have escaped! The prisoners have escaped! The prisoners have escaped! The prisoners what have is escaped! Going on? Your Highness, something awful has happened! The prisoners have escaped! Your Highness! Calm down, Quietus. Be calm. Now tell me what has happened. Phidias has helped the prisoners escape! So what were the prison guards doing? They were together in this. Diocletian, what has happened? One of the officers committed treason and helped the prisoners flee. It seems all of the officers in this palace are traitors. Do not worry, Timonus. They cannot escape. Julius, the prisoners have escaped. Search every inch of the city. Guard every one of its gates. Which way did they go? They have fled through the back door of the palace. Let's go. Yes, sir. Pick up your shields and be alert. Yes, sir. Get off your horses and be fully prepared. There's no way we can move through this gate. Search. We do not have the power to fight Julius's guards. We will fight them. We do not fear death. Huh. Do not forget God's blessings. He will undoubtedly assist us. So we must hurry if we are to beat Julius's soldiers there. Let's go. Let's go. Go. Go.
Open up. Dear God, it is Maximilian. Get in, get in. Hurry up, go. Quickly. Go. Come, come, come. Get in, quick. Your Highness, Your Highness. I, I, uh, Lady Hell. Shh. Calm down. Oh, oh, oh. Be calm. Oh, oh, oh. Be calm. Yes, sir. Before doing anything, you must prepare some supplies and food for the yes, journey. Yes, yes, of course. I cannot believe it. I must inform the ladies. Lady Helen! Lady Helen Maximilian is here! My daughter. Father! Ladies, come! Come! Wash up. Was it necessary to put yourself in such danger and give us such anguish? This was something we had to do. I am happy. You are my only worry. But you have God. He is a merciful protector. By making this dangerous decision, what positive result do you hope to achieve? We stood in defiance of their greatest idol. We stood in the face of their atheism with all our faith. Without doubt. Our religion will have a great many followers henceforth. We did what we dreamt of doing. We will no doubt be killed, but our only request is that you be patient. We did not think it was possible to destroy the Emperor's idol so marvelously and to defile their false gods. <laughs> you have no idea what an uproar we caused in the palace. <laughs> what a commotion! <laughs> <laughs> when we first began, we had no hope of succeeding. We were only doing what we believed was our duty. We thought not of success or failure. What do you think Maximilian has in mind? I do not know. I have faith that everything that has happened was part of God's plan. Father. Yes, my dear. Hurry. Everyone go to the library. This is the end of the road. The guards will arrive any moment, and they will surely find us in the library. Your Highness Denasius, go to the library, and you will see how God will protect us. Go quickly. Faster. Come quickly, hurry. Ladies, you must stay here. Do not by any means come to the library. Helen, if the guards arrive, do not let them into the house. Let them force their way in. They must be stalled to give us time. Galus, you have a great task ahead of you. Be very careful. Yes, sir. Goodbye. Goodbye. God be with you. Hurry, your highness. Goodbye. The guards will arrive any moment. Now. Farewell. Go quickly, hurry. Why did you take so long? Why are you just standing there? 
Hurry, hurry, open the door. Help move the bookshelf aside. Come, help. A secret passage. <laughs> <laughs> Your Highnesses, the guards have arrived. Please help me move this quickly. Hurry! Quickly! Come. Quickly. Go. Galus, close the door. that you have seen no one, and you have no news from your husband, yes. all right? Open the door! Who are you? What has happened? Open the door, Lady Helen. We must search the house. I will not open the door until you tell me what it is you want. You expect us to believe that you have not heard the news? What are you talking about? What news? Your husband and his friends have escaped from the prison. If what you are saying is true, then it is a blessing. Hmm. But how can I be sure you are not lying to me? Lying? Why would I lie? Maybe you have killed them. And now you are simply trying to trick us. I am certain that he is here. And that you know it. Be certain that he is not a fool like you. To escape and to come and to hide in the most dangerous place possible? If you do not let us in, we'll break down the door. Such behavior is expected from such vicious people. Break down the door. They are breaking down the door. Galus, open the door. Yes. What is the meaning of this? What is this? What's going on? What has happened, Your Highness? Why are you breaking down the door? Where are they? Who do you mean? Are you looking for somebody, Your Highness? You think you're clever? Search everywhere. Go ahead and search. <laughs> 